What's up everybody? Derek G here. Feed the Fire Films. And um, yeah, I'm just out here in the woods this morning. We had thunderstorms last night. Everything's like damp and wet and quiet. This is coming out to the Vectagon. Looks like I got a, some stacked stones that fell. These other ones are still good. Yeah, I guess I gotta fix this. All right. That was a little shady to begin with. <laughs> it was all leaning. Let's see any damage? Thing looks like it's left right where we left it. Oh, I see. Uh, somebody's been digging through here. I see that. The swing is kind of fucked up. This box is open. Nothing's missing though. <laughs> They're just looking. I guess. There's nothing in here to steal anyway. <laughs> it's not like we'd leave anything of value out here. Maybe this. That looks moved. I'm gonna put it somewhere completely different. Put it back here. Let's see if it moves from there. All right. Well, my labyrinth is way up that hill there. So I'm gonna trek up there now. Check on that. And uh, yeah. Just kind of sharing my day with you. It's Friday. It's a nice cool day. It's not that humid out. And I'm gonna spend it out here in the woods. So. All right, I'll be back. All right, back again. And everything here seems to be untouched. Yeah, not like it's a major traffic area or anything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, my sled and rake are just still sitting here right where I left them. And not one stone has been moved, so I just walked it again. And for Lee out there, who took a guess on how many steps it would take, he guessed 191. He's very close. I just counted my steps. It was 210. 210 steps to go out. Just coming out was 210 steps, so you'd have to double that, so you get 420, right? So, there's 420 steps to walk into the center and walk back out, which is kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> 420, man, right? <laughs> it's the stoner labyrinth. <laughs> Made of stone. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I think I want to build something right here today because I've been looking at it like a, a couple stacks of balanced stones right here at the entrance set back, you know, like over here somewhere. It's just set, set back like a couple pillars, a couple obelisk type deals, and I don't know, I might... I might build some around the outside. Maybe I'll measure out a hexagon, and I get I get my uh, my 60 degree marks, and I put pillars at the 60 degree marks or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm out here for a while, so I can't just sit around and relax. <laughs> and um, yeah, I got to do something. 
So maybe maybe I'll build a bench or a place to sit somewhere or something. I don't know. I can't I can't just sit around. All right, back again. I decided to uh, put up little um, balance stones to mark the four directions instead of laying out hexagon markers. I figured I'd do it this one south. And up there we have north up here, right? I still need to get a couple more stones for east and west, but yeah, this will be south, all right? Oh, that one's, that one's south. This, the one behind me is north. All right, this way is north. And then we have one over there. For uh, east. All right. And one over there for west. Because my hexagon, the problem with it is it, it was landing right on this tree and right on this tree. So those are like 120 degrees apart from each other. <laughs> It's really what it is, because it's 60 degrees to there, you know, and 60 degrees to there. And so, yeah, those trees are, are my 120 degree marker trees. But, uh, yeah, they're in the way, so. North, south, east, and west is better anyway, because this is really set up in quadrants, if you think about it. You do quarter circles, half circles, and full circles. There's two full circles. Oh no, one full circle on the outer ring, right? There's a three quarter circle. There's quarter circles. There's half circles in there. So it's set up for the seasons in quadrants for the year in quarters. So I figured north, south, east, and west makes sense. I figured I'd use four rocks for the four seasons in each point and um, we'll have some symbolism going here and uh, yeah I'm gonna go dig out what do I need six more rocks six more decent sized rocks that I'll be able to balance <laughs> that's the other trick is uh, getting these things to balance so that takes time and patience man to balance don't like these they look like you could just plop them on top of each other and they would just stand there, but to be honest, this thing is really, uh, it's really, it has to be that way or it wouldn't work. You know, if you turn that top stone just a little bit, the whole thing will fall. <laughs> it's kind of nuts, but that's kind of how it works. So. I don't know, I may be back, I may not. It depends on what I do, so. If I keep going and I keep coming up with things to create, I'll keep sharing. So, until next time, I'll uh, catch everybody later. <laughs>